okay, the A team. I said, okay, fine. So he said, okay, he says, now, do you remember Mad Max? You remember Road Warrior and Mad Max and the Mel Gibson movie? I go, yeah. He goes, okay, well, it's not Mad Max, but there's elements of Mad Max in it. I'm gonna show these guys what a weekend in the country is really like. He says, you remember The Dirty Dozen? I go, yeah, of course. He goes, well, it's not a military show like The Dirty Dozen, but those guys, those scummy guys that he gets out of the jail, you know, to go do them, anybody, but it's not about the military, you know, but there's something about it that's like that. Up here, fatso. Give this gonzo a haircut. You want tough? You got tough. B.A. Frank and I leave, and we go down to the commissary at NBC. Frank's looking at me and goes, what, what the hell was that? And I go, well, <laughs> I think he's telling us to break all the rules we know about a conventional dramatic television series, and that this show should have its hand on its hip. It should not resemble anything. Oh, Hannibal, love the jazz, man. You love the jazz. Uh, lighten up, fellas. You got to do these things with style. And so Frank and I start to put it together. And we're going, okay, so who are these guys? You know, well, how about a, a pilot who's insane? This guy, Howling Mad Murdoch. Hey, what you doing, man? Step off, step off. Did you bring any candy? And Hannibal Smith, this guy that always has this, like, crazy way of trying to deliver the, the mission. Is this a part of the plan? No. <laughs> The face man, you know, Templeton Peck, the face man, who's just their scrounger. He's, you know, you need a, a Gulfstream uh, jet, he'll get it for you. And I don't care how, you know, he's going to, all BS, you know. And then their muscle is, is, is B.A. Baracus, who hates everybody in the unit, you know. He just has a bad attitude, you know, just, he just can't get along with people. This road leads directly to the airport, Hannibal. This road is nowhere near the airport. 